take a look at this example. Analyze the level case of this function. So remember that to find or analyze the level curves, we set z equals to a constant. So let's see what do we have here. We have 4x squared plus y squared plus 1 equals to k, or 4x squared plus y squared equals to k minus 1. So if k is not equal to 1, we can divide everything by k minus 1, and we get 4x squared over k minus 1 plus y squared over k minus 1 equals to 1. If you flip 4, you get x squared over k minus 1 over 4 plus y squared over k minus 1 equals to 1. Well, what do we have here? If k is larger than 1, this guy describes the family of ellipses, am I right? Then we have a family of ellipses with semi axis a half square root of k minus 1 and square root of k minus 1. Recall that when we talked about ellipses, we had x squared divided by a squared plus y squared divided by b squared equals to 1. In this case, your a squared is equal to k minus 1 divided by 4. So a becomes square root of k minus 1 divided by 2. And your b squared is equal to k minus 1 on the denominator, or b is equal to k square root of k minus 1. Let us take a look at our math 3D. And let us add an object our explicit surface that we are using. In that case, here we have 4x squared plus y squared plus 1. So there you can see the behavior of this surface in three dimension. So we're slicing this guy with z equals to k let us add another object. Suppose k is equal to 2. And here, you sliced your surface with this plane. You can add more. Let us add another explicit surface, like 4. And you can see another slice of this surface. And we saw the algebra and the calculus behind it on the board.